Then. How could they kill Jimmy? Stand up for your country and your beliefs. If you don't, duck you. Jimmy speaks through lyrics and his guitar. He is one of God's stars. When I watch Jimi Hendrix on DVD or hear him on a CD, he always makes me smile. I love Jimmy. There's too much confusion. Jimmy shows me that love and peace exist. As Jimmy goes up and down the frets, he represents heaven. He shows that angels exist. The wind begins to move again. Jimmy plays one, two, three, four in a blink. With his eyes closed behind his back, with his teeth, nobody on earth could compete with Jimmy's soul. He is a glow that forever shines. Jimmy's chords are forever screaming beyond life. It's a way out to be free with yourself forever. Jimmy Hendrix's spirit lives on. 30 years after his body died, he is a voodoo child forever. Jimmy plays with his soul as he produces more dream sounds. Managers, Black Panthers or more could have poured their fears down Jimmy's neck. I don't think that he killed himself. Would you, if you were him? Shine on, Jimmy. For Jimmy, have a drink, a spliff. I wish Jimmy was alive. He is inspiration to my bones. Teenage wasteland, we are all wasted. The Jimi Hendrix of dreams was Keith Moon with John Lennon on vocals and Bob Marley on bass. It's Jimi Hendrix's world. Rock and roll would be dull without Jimi Hendrix. Peace, love and happiness is what Jimmy is. That's what Jimmy wanted. How could they kill Jimmy? I wrote How Could They Kill Jimmy on the 8th of September, the year 2005, 15 years ago. How could they kill Jimmy?